Hey guys, this is Chaos here with Tape, and today you join me in the dual system with this nice looking spacecraft, or not actually a very nice looking spacecraft, but it's fine because it's going to be destroyed by deadly re-entry, probably, unless, um, unless this heat shield's really good. Uh, so I was thinking, um, a lot of my spacecraft survive deadly re-entry, and that's boring. And then I was thinking, you know what destroyed spacecraft really well was deadly re-entry with rescaled Kerbin because of the faster speeds. And then I was thinking, could you really aero break around Joule with um, with deadly reentry? Um, I'm not going to aero, aero break. I'm just going to go for a low periaps and try and burn this thing up. I just want to see what happens. So I'm going to test various spacecraft. Um, and don't worry about me. I am modding them into orbit. I don't have time to fly them all out. It is actually Christmas Eve, but I have run out of things to do and um, really wanted to try this. And I just quite like making videos. So you know. Anyway, so we're coming closer to Joule now. Um, just keep it pointing retrograde because I want to be burning. I'm gonna leave the solar panels open so at least something smashes up. But yeah, this is a fairly standard. Uh, um, I've put lots of things on the sides so that they might burn off, and you can see uh, RCS cans next to mystery goo containers ha are quite different. I didn't know they were that different in size, but you know. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying lots of different uh, spacecraft and lots of different heat shields. Um, to see what happens, so this will be a bit choppy, and it is actually live commentary, um, but it will be cut up quite a lot because uh, I have to keep going back and not modding things into orbit because you know. Um, I think, yeah, I, I completely cheated. I flew a, I flew a little moddable satellite out here with um, infinite fuel, and then uh, and then modded it into orbit in the save file. You know, standard things. And you've got these three guys. They were the commanders, I think. I, I thought they were the commanders. That's a shame. Well, either way, they're probably going to die. No one in the science lab. Um, and we're about to hit the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Atmosphere? That's not even a word. Okay, now we've hit the atmosphere. Let's see uh, how the heat shield... F oh, it's already burning. Good sign. It's all is a good sign. I've come in from... This is... Um, oh, wow. That's... Yeah. Okay, now it's sudden heat up. It hasn't started ablating yet. I think that's a bad sign because if it doesn't ablate, then uh, oh yeah, now we're starting to lose it. Okay, the heat shield's starting to melt off. It's in a ball of white fire. Yeah, we're starting to really. Oh, there goes the heat shield. Um, oh no, it something blew off. Don't know what. Ooh, no frame rates. Ooh, what what just broke off? Um, I think everything on the side. Oh, the frame rates have just died, and I think they're back. I thought it had burnt. There you go. There goes the heat shield. If it gets too hot, the abla the ablate the abla um the ablative stuff on the heat shield actually cools it down. Okay, something else just burned off. Um, so when that if it gets too hot, then the ablation means nothing. It'll just burn off anyway. But wow, that's ridiculous. Oh. Okay, they're dead. Not because of the burning, because of the G-force limit. Okay, that's that gone. That uh, well, that burned up. That crew, that um, science lab stood up really well. Um, oh, it's actually still called Modball Sat because I changed some stuff. That stood up surprisingly well, actually. Um. Yeah, the heat shield went pretty quickly, but the science lab did pretty well. But everyone was killed by G-force effects before they burned up. So I guess, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and build something different, maybe with a bigger heat shield, and see if I can make it survive. Um, and then after that, I'll probably try and build something without a heat shield and see how far it gets. So I will see you in what will be a second for you, and probably quite a while for me. So yeah, okay, um, right. Okay, so this is my new craziest invention. It's basically a lot of heat shields. Um, this is inflatable. Um, so that's the biggest in heat shield, which inflates uh, like that. And then behind it is another heat shield. Um, and behind that is uh, some metal panels. And then a small pod with uh, this pod, which comes equipped with a standard heat shield. And on the bottom of that standard heat shield is another heat shield. Um, and surrounding, uh, and on the top, there's uh, the second biggest heat shield. And around the sides, there are four heat shields. So, 
I basically got um, a lot of heat shields. Uh, yeah, to try and survive Jewel. Don't know if it'll work, but this is probably the best shot uh, Kerbin kind has. Kerbal kind, I don't know. Yeah, it's Kerbals who live on Kerbin, which orbit orbits Kerbal. There you go. That's a uh, quick vocabulary lesson. Whoa, what? Hmm. Well, that was normal. Maybe I hadn't modded this very well. Anyway, we're coming down. I don't know why it was spinning like that. Maybe it was just the way... I, I have no idea. Hopefully it won't become a problem. Although I don't... I think the huge amount of heat will probably be the problem. And the huge amount of g-force. Now, there is um, a way you could slow this down, which I often use, is by, like, putting um, solid rock... Okay, this isn't uh, an ablative heat shield either, so I'm not sure how how well that's going to fare. But you could um, put a bunch of solid rocket boosters and slow it down a whole bunch, but that doesn't sound that fun. Um, and Whoa, it's white hot. It's getting kind of warm. And it has a little uh, display, which is the same as this. Oh, no, it's done tip. Okay, luckily it's covered in heat shields. Okay, okay, this is bad. That top heat... Gotta... Oh no! Gotta decouple this. That top bit won't stand up to it. There you go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, gotta get rid of this. There you go. Gotta flip it back around, because... Oh no, this is going badly. I can't, I can't see what's happening, but I do know that, um, I, I do know that the top won't stand up to, okay, that's gone. I'm not sure if you can see, but all the heat shields have burned off, um, and now it's just metal panels, okay. Well, that went well, um, I, okay. So basically what happened is the air caught, well, whatever jewel is made of, the atmosphere caught, um, the bottom heat shield and swung it around onto the top heat shield and the top heat shield wasn't as strong as the bottom bit so uh yeah luckily it had heat shields all around so it survived for a while as you saw and then um the panels did surprisingly well but it wasn't enough it needed to be completely ensconced in a heat shield um so yeah that was my best attempt i don't know whether i should do um lots of big heat shields like all around like the big inflatable ones like all around that might work or if i should just try and build something stock well you will find out in a second i will find out fairly soon i will see you in a second okay so yes i didn't in fact decide just to balance it by putting another inflatable heat shield on top so hopefully it won't flip around and it can rely on its best heat shields rather than its kind of backup heat shields and additionally I um, ha now have two heat shields on the side of each layer rather than just one for a little bit of extra kind of hopefully not dying. So we will be re-entering Jewel. It doesn't really matter which way I... well no, it's better to go this way because there are far more heat shields. Um, might still flip around but hopefully it won't. There are more heat shields on here. This is... this direction is the way it's supposed to go. Although I imagine as I time warp, it'll do that weird flippy thing again. Oh no. So. I was actually going to try and build a stock heat shield for this, but um, I fear that's impossible. Uh, you can on Kerbin. Well, actually, you don't need a heat shield on Kerbin a lot of the time. But you can build a heat shield for some things on Kerbin. Um, just out of, like, girders and things. But, uh, yeah, I, I think at 9,500 meters a second, it would be futile. I think I might be coming in steeper than before, which is bad. Oh yeah, no, now it's like 9,000 surface velocity. And um, it's Bill coming because I think it was Jeb last time, but I, uh, he's probably dead because of the whole that he died in the massive fire. And this is, I guess, my Christmas special. Uh, it's not very Christmassy, but there's a nice warm fire, I guess. Ow, and it's lighting up. I'll give it some RCS control, just try and keep it pointing the right way, although it doesn't matter as much because it has this as well. But that heat, this heat shield is burning, but... Oh, no, no, it's it's, it's fine. Um, really hoping it's not going to flip around. I would be really, really upset. At, well, not upset. <laughs> I, I don't have that much investment in this project. But, you know, oh, look how white 
white and fire it is. I'm not sure actually how that'll look on YouTube because I'm I'm playing on a on my, on a TV screen because I have two normal monitors. And oh, it's starting to overheat. That's our first heat shield down. We will continue to point the way we're pointing. Oh, okay, that's a bad idea. Maybe flip around. No, it won't flip around. Okay, try and flip around. Maybe. I think it's still going. I mean, the frame rates have gone. Okay, now we're inside the capsule. Oh, the capsule's free. Okay, it still has some ablation. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it does appear this is impossible with deadly reentry. I mean, I'm sure if you skim along the atmosphere and do it very tactically, it'd be fine. But you can't just hit the atmosphere with it. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's exactly a lot of fun. I, if you know how to, if well, if you either really want to go to Jewel um, with a long mission, then you know it's always fun. And if you want to like fly some heat shields out, that'll be even more fun. Or if you have some kind of, um, it just really, it's not hard to mod uh, save files and just like put something in orbit really easily. Uh, what I do is I fly something out here with infinite fuel that takes like five minutes, and then make my other craft, and then just put the orbit data from the mo from the ship I got out here in like five minutes and then um, just mod that into the other save file and it's just, it's just really easy and then you can do stuff like this but yeah um, I think uh, I think this yeah this will be one of my mod mashup things um, this is always a really fun mod to play with no matter what you're doing uh, maybe maybe you can get to duel without uh, blowing up but I I clearly can't at about 80,000 meters I get destroyed no matter how many heat shields I put on, because it just gets too hot. So yeah. Anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful whatever you're doing. Um, or if you're watching this after Christmas, then I hope you had a wonderful Christmas or whatever you were doing. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you if you liked this video, it'd be great if you dropped a like. That'd uh, help me loads. But yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and feel like seeing more crazy things like this, um, feel free to subscribe. Uh, yeah, so this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.